Now we are going to add two more states to our panel. To explain what a state is, states to a dynamic panel are like what slides are to a slideshow, an apt metaphor, I think. Let's create more states or slides for two other products. You can right click the panel to manage states or click on the widget manager to manage our dynamic panel but it's quickest to double click the dynamic panel in the page canvas. This will open the dynamic panel state manager. This dialog permits us to add new panel states and choose which we want to work with. Let's first give our panel a name, something like slider control. Descriptive names are vital here to allow you to organize your prototype well. Let's also rename our first state from the default state one to product one. You can right click or slow double click to rename. Let's add two new states, one for each product. You can now start from scratch, but seeing as our slides are going to be similar, it would make sense to duplicate and edit. So we'll hit the duplicate button and add our slide names as we go. An important thing to grasp here is that order of states is important. The first state is what will be displayed by default. The order of the states that follow become important when you set up interactions that will display the next or previous state, in which case the panel will reveal each state as you've ordered them here. 